I was sitting in the parking lot, so I saw you drive off going, well, cue the chairman today. Huh? Cue the chairman. <laughs> Nothing's happened. I don't see anything. Well, it's running. Okay. You're going. We're going? Yep. Oh, we took the clock down. Okay, I'd like to call the meeting of the Howard Cemetery Commission to, to order at 9.02 on September 26th. Now, do you have minutes from... We do not. Do I, not. Thought I, was, I, I thought I was going to be able to finish them when I didn't have a chance. Okay. It's close. Then we have email from Joe Powers, or do we want to see what Jim's got cooking today? Jim wants to do I have anything cooking? Now he he is a lot. To, he wants to do input when we do different topics. So he's he's hanging with us. He's hanging. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So e uh, <laughs> email from Joe. Powers. Yeah. Um. So we just have our, all of our budget stuff was coming up. So we had to put in. So if you guys want to just flip to that little narrative page, which is our capital needs, and then these projects. So. Um, what page are we looking at? It looks like this. It's like yeah. page two. Yeah, yeah. All right. So these are our potential upcoming things that they'll be discussing at the board of selectmen. Um, uh, we had gone originally to do that uh, wooden bo boardwalk. I don't even know if you guys remember this. It was so long ago. BS in, co in cooperation with the Conservation Commission. Yeah, yeah. So BSC Group had done an extensive uh, land study of the Island Pond area about 10 or 15 years ago. It's a book this, that, which is what we used when we started to do the Arboretum property. But in there, they recommended that there, a raised platform walking trail be put by the White Cedar Swamp there. So that I, you know, the kids don't have to go from Harwich to East Ham to see the Cedar Swamp because they have one right here. And um, so this would just be the engineering part of it. It wouldn't be the construction. So uh, we're going to put in a CPC article, which is due October 3rd, which is just for the engineering of it and how much it would cost if it was going to get developed. So I talked to Michael Locke and I talked to Amy Uzowski. And Michael was like, it's going to be very expensive. And I said, there's a whole bunch of different park grants out there right now that um, that we could apply for. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's going to help me with that or, you know, steer me in the right direction. Um, and then I didn't know, I don't know if I have enough time to do it, but I wanted to do another gravestone preservation project. Um, there's a whole bunch of stones down at Evergreen. Or I could just do um, the North Howard Cemetery, which is very small, which has quite a few stones down, right, Jim? Yes. Yeah, there's so, a few at I don't, uh, Pond, too. There are, but that would be a massive project, and I would not have enough time to do that. I would have to go either in a small area in Evergreen or North Howard. So I didn't know how you guys felt about that. It's your call. Probably North Howard. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that kind of gets not really neglected, but... Yeah, I mean, and, and um, we have had um, Stephen and his wife have gone down there and cleaned all those stones, anyways. So yeah. it looks amazing. Um, he does great work, and I mean, he's been uh, coming and getting the products from me, and they've been yeah. going from cemetery to cemetery. And now we have a couple of other people that have been doing stone cleaning for us as well. So there's a whole group. So mm -hmm. maybe on one of the agendas, I will list all their names and give an update on the stuff that they have, just to give mm -hmm. them some recognition. Yeah, we should probably send them a thank you note. Yeah, should definitely also have them, especially go yeah. to a selectman's meeting and recognize them there because <coughs> yeah. they've been doing yeah, a long time. A town meeting, yeah, one of the two. Yeah, yeah, they've been they've been working <coughs> tirelessly. Great. Um, also, I had uh, reached out, went over to the DPW to do. Um, hopefully, we're going to have the girl that's over there, Caitlin, who is the secretary at help me with some of the owners unknown or the the older cemetery lots when we get a call that somebody wants to use an older cemetery lot i have to do a lot of genealogical research just to make sure that those are the true people because yeah we got uh duped once and we won't be duped again so uh, she's gonna get uh, joe said that he would pur purchase the software so that they could have ancestry there an ancestry here. I've been using my own ancestry account that I pay for on my yeah. town computer for 20 years, but I told them I'm not going to be keep renewing it for the town. So they're going to buy one for 
They, they'll buy. They, they only need the U.S. one. So right. n the one that they need with also the newspaper with the newspapers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the newspaper <clears throat> is very critical. So and, and they get it. They get a different rate because it's a uh, governmental. Uh -huh. So she's going to get that, and she's going to put it. Sarah's going to put it on my computer and over at the DPW okay. so that, that we, she can help me with that. Um, so procurement that's going on right now, we have the South Howitch Gravestone Conservation Project, which is later on. I'll tell you about that because it, there's a couple of the stones that we're leaning have now fallen, so I have to re-index that before I can put it out to bid. The Walk of Remembrance did go out to bid, and the packet for that is enormous. Uh, I've been working with Megan on that, and this is all the documentation we had to do. For the walkway. For the sidewalk? Yes. And then uh, the war memorials. Uh, we are very close to publishing our list, which will go in the newspaper. So um, I'm just going back through. I had Lynn Zalanak come over. Zalazak. Zalazak. She went over with me, and she's just, we're just cross referencing some of the people that I have on the list that are. I'm not sure, so she's just verifying. Um, I mean, they were Howitch residents. They're buried in Howitch, yeah. but their record doesn't actually say Howitch, so we're just going back and forth to try to get more documentation, whether it's a pension file or something else. So we just want to make sure we don't miss anybody. And then the Civil War, um, I have a senior work-off woman who's been working with me, um, and she has been, I had photocopied all the individual um, kind of like their initial going into service logs, and she's photocopied them, put them all in books, so we have now have uh, quite a substantial, and they're so mm -hmm. much easier to do, the Civil War guys, than the Revolutionary <laughs> War, and they're pretty cut and dry. So those those ones should be finished, but we have a lot more than we were initially thought. So, um, so that's it for that. I also had put in in the second page, I requested again, that we get uh, a part-time assistant, which we usually get pushback from, um, but I am literally underwater. I have so much stuff to do every day that I um, been selling lots like crazy. People have been calling about older lots. Um, we have somebody from the health department that called me that somebody buried somebody in their yard and they want to figure out <laughs> the logistics about that. So there's all of these other day-to-day -day things that I'm doing plus all this other stuff that I'm getting a little overwhelmed with. Jim so. pestering you, you know. Jim comes in and says, what about this? What about that? I'm like, hey, I wait. <laughs> <laughs> Still working on this. So, um, I so did that's your addition for hopeful? Hopeful. Hopefully it's a part-time employee. So um, How many hours? I think it's... 20 hours? A I, week? A month? A week. Yeah. When I get back home, I'll give you a hand, too, if yeah. I can. Sure. <clears throat> all right. So Thank that's you. all the update with the budget stuff. Okay. Email from Jan Moore. Telling me that all of the application deadlines are due for CPC for October 1st. So I had already gotten the specs for the walkway uh, from BSC Group. So that one's good to go. Um, I would just have to go down in inventory um, if we're going to do North Power, which I can do that this weekend and have it done. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Notice of application for project eligibility from Pine Oaks Phase Okay. Four. So uh, we Is have, this is Joe Powers thing? Yes. So we, we have been meeting. We had a couple meetings. This is the application stuff for uh, the new housing development that's going in. Which is How good. are we tied to that? So yeah. they have requested every commission and every department to write a narrative on how this would affect them. So um, if you look at the application, which I, so they're expecting to build in phase number one, 248 units of mixed income families on that 30 acres. And then they add more units as it goes. So I Where think is the acres? Um, sort of, uh, if you look at the plan, it's, it's off of Queen, Queen Anne Road and University. Old Main Street, kind of in between the two of them. Oh, off by Old Eagle Pond? So. No. 
on the no. Other, other side. No, it's closer to the DPW. Yeah, it's on Queen Anne. Oh, it's on Queen Anne. So it's this whole thing. So at, hmm. in, in one of the phases, it's 248 units, but it could have up to 198 additional mixed income units, which is going to be, if you figure one or two people per unit, um, and some of them are going to be families, they want to know how that would affect um, us and if we wanted to uh, write a letter <coughs> from the commission saying this would ha is how it would affect us. There are uh, absolutely more people in the town, more people using, uh, a lot of people use our cemeteries as passive recreation, and so far it's been pretty good. We have the... <laughs> you know, dog walkers that I, me and Jim constantly have to talk to. Um, yeah, I've mentioned but, that to a couple of them. Yeah, but we don't want to have uh, people hanging out and partying there or, or, yeah. or doing anything like that. But there'll be more people that will be passing away or needing to purchase lots. Or once you, it's going to increase the um, amount of people that are living in the town. So it's mm -hmm. it'll affect every. Single department and some. We don't have fashion. enough spots, do we? What? We don't have enough open sites, do we? We do. We yeah. have in Evergreen. We have so many, and then we have Kelly, uh, Kelly Cemetery, which we haven't even expanded, and then we have all those lots in Mount Pleasant. We have the whole other side of Pine Grove that we never. Yeah. That's across mm -hmm. the street from there that we can expand. I mean, so we have enough cemetery space. That's not, I don't think, a concern for us because a lot of people now are going cremation. I think what the concern is, is uh, just the use of the cemeteries and if there'll be more trash or Traffic. debris for Jim to pick up or if, you know, we're going to be more, you know, um, one, that site is near the North Howard Cemetery. And then they're also, this is Pine Oaks, but then they're also doing another development at the Old Eagle Pond, which will be even more people. So there'll be a lot more people. Where about is it exactly in Queen Anne? I'd have to look at the map exactly, but it, the way it was explained to me, it's bef it's in a parcel of land before it merges at the Y. Maybe back yeah. up a little it's bit. Yeah, down near the power line. Oh, yeah, yeah, more or less. I know what you mean now. Yeah, thank <clears> you. <throat> so this right, is it. To the north side, of the south side would. To the south side of Queen Anne Road. Uh, so this is. I think this is north. this is Queen Anne, and this <laughs> is Old Main <laughs> Street, <laughs> right? It's the north. Uh, Old Main Street, Queen Anne. Okay. So at the end of all, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just at the other end of all the structures. So you see all the, yeah. Develop. These are all the um, professional bays. At the very end there, is where it goes in, and it comes all the way around. And this comes out. This is Old Main. Mm. So the, all the traffic is going to come in. From Old Main, I believe, right? Yeah, that's um, not off of Queen Inn. It was it was explained to me. There's a traffic study in the works to to cover that impact, which I'm sure will be enormous. Because um, that was one of my uh, my things. That four way stop is busy yeah. on a slow day, and now yeah. you add all that. But um, I believe they're doing a traffic study in some capacity on that. And who's eligible for this housing? They have not. Fellow employees? I know probably the least of anyone, so I don't know. I, I Police have no officers, idea. fire department? Or is it going to be retirees from Nebraska it's, that it's, put in for a housing? I don't like think, I don't think it's I don't think it's going to be for seniors. It's going to be mixed use, but I not specifically geared to see seniors like Pine Oaks. All the other so Pine Oaks are seniors. seniors. So the age demographics are going to affect what we submit. Right. So it's mixed. If it I was think a they put it. Place, yeah. Then they're knocking on the door. Right. <clears throat> and if it's cops, firefighters, yeah. right. new nurses out of school, right. people looking to live here because they work here. Yeah. That's completely different. Mm -hmm. So that's that information. Who's Peggy Graham? She is the lady who does the uh, porta parties. So uh, last year she charged us. $750 total for one handicapped 
unit and then the two walk up toilets which people did use <laughs> so i am um, not a lot but i think because there's no restrooms there we should probably have them and i don't think it's that much money so for where for veterans day yeah to have restrooms there just in case somebody has to use the bathroom so i someone would need to make a motion on that so they get those yes because of how big of a thing we're doing well we we're already doing the the band is coming um shawnee's been working with uh, bobby Parr as the speaker um mm -hmm. and um we've already had people reach out that were involved last year i know the boy scouts are coming um Stephen Xaros wants to come. There are people that were involved last year that definitely want to be involved this year. So we probably need them to know me. You probably need them then, right? Yeah. How many did you say? So it's going to be the Weekender, which has two that you can walk into, Cindy, but then they have the one that's kind of like <coughs> handicapped handicap. if somebody was in a walker or right, right. Or, that's thing that so I think necessary. we I think we kind of need that especially with the people that usually come to our events so it's the total is she's given it to us for the the handicap one she gave it to us for 150 which is normally 300 and the weekend trailer which is normally 1400 she gave it to us for 600 mm -hmm. so the total for the of the two of them was 750 dollars which I think is really reasonable are we doing budget wise I have that in there it's for the day. We're pretty good. <laughs> pretty good? Yeah, I think it's like $40,000, and I'm getting uh, somebody bought 10 lots, and they're coming in with the check right after this meeting for $9,000. So <laughs> um, we're at thirty nine eight fifty eighty seven, and then I'm getting $9,000 after this meeting. So. All right, so I moved that we spend $750 to... Um, Higher uh, ahead with class for Veterans Day. I'll we'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. Any other business? Correspondences or town hall? Before you move on? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. No, old business. Veterans Memorial Circle Hardscape and Benches. Yes, so I have not been working on the hardscape and benches because I've been working on the walkway because it was a huge undertaking. I didn't realize how much would go into the uh, getting the uh, bid documents with Megan. So um, why are they so elaborate? Because anytime it's over fifty thousand dollars, it has to be posted in the newspaper. It has to go into a um, online database has to be posted. Caleb already posted it on our website. I mean, we'll probably get more people bidding on it, but it, at least we have all of this stuff. So um, I then created this. Steve had um, had taken a drone footage because she wanted a map showing exactly where the walkway was on our map. Um, so he just took a drone picture snapshot for me and then I just did the little yellow line in there. Yeah. And then we included Paul Sweetser's map um, of the design. So it is ready to go out, and uh, all the documents should be received back by October 23rd. And on that date, we'll award the contract. <coughs> so, so the part right after that, I had this down for new business, but okay. right after that, we should do the bobcat ceremony. Okay. <laughs> Even if you guys only scrape 10 feet, 6 feet, 3 feet. You want it disrupted right before the Veterans Day holiday? I don't know. I think we I think we ought to do something because we told them last year, yeah, we November were gonna 11th, do it. it was going to start. Yeah. And here it is almost a year That's, that's a year your later. call entirely. I just yeah. want a clarification. Well, we don't have to make it nasty. We yeah. could just do the shovels. Yeah. You know, the groundbreaking, the so groundbreaking that type thing. They, that may be a better idea. Yeah. So somebody doesn't trip on it, and because then we out then put the scoop back in. I'll yeah. get you a new shovel. I'll put a bow on it. Well, we apparently we have shovels. And now we're gonna need a bunch of shovels. 
Because <laughs> everybody zombie. wants to dig a little dirt. To which I say, go poke it that way. Just keep going. <laughs> <clears throat> so if that closes on the 23rd, let's just pick a date now. Yeah. I didn't bring my phone, so I have no I have no phone. 26th, today, is that what you're asking? No, what's after October 23rd? I think that's a Wednesday. What's the Monday or Tuesday after that? Uh, <clears throat> so the 23rd is... Uh, I can't Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep. So Tuesday is the 29th, <clears throat> October 29th. What do you think about that? To do... I'm sorry. To do a, a, a little thing that we just go down just and Just a we... shovel ceremony with... Sure. Break ground. Photo op, really. And a chance to advertise and say, okay, here we go. <laughs> There's a chance for donations on whatever the Facebook page is. Yeah. You really should have another thing. I mean, I'm not on Facebook, so yeah. I couldn't donate. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on Facebook either. So that, you know what I mean? That ain't happening either. Yeah. Now, may I bring up a maybe sensitive point here to, to yours? Yeah. I understand your photo op and the shovels and everything, but I'm a what-if guy. Now, what if the bid, the person who gets awarded the bid can't start for weeks and months is that going to be misleading oh, yeah. to have a groundbreaking and then no crew show up to perform any work mm -hmm. for weeks or till Good november point. is that make pr look kind of silly i i don't know that's uh, i don't think so because people's no, contracts are mm -hmm. awarded all the time for some reason i thought we were doing the prep work and then they we are doing up. we are doing the prep work well, so. the, yes, that was also going to be determined on who the contractor was because right. one contractor wanted just the grass removed. It doesn't, it, the second no, one wanted No, it. we already made – what's going to happen is I went and met with Brian and Boo, and they, we came up with exact stuff that they were going to do, and that's already in the contract. So you guys are doing exactly what they came up with, and then the contractor is going to fill in after you guys leave. So we're putting the base in. We, we put in the base, or we just no. Digging we're digging trench. down. I think it's nine inches, which is what they wanted, and then they're putting in the base and they're putting in the walkway. Is that copacetic with you, or it's copacetic? I had no knowledge of that. Yeah. That that <laughs> conversation. <laughs> no knowledge of that conversation after we met with the uh, yeah. two different individuals, and one said they just wanted the grass off. They poured on sand, mm -hmm. and the other one said he wanted it deeper for a base. For a base. That's what I was made was aware of. That the last guy we met with. Yeah. I met with two. You yeah. know, the first guy just wanted it skimmed off, and he was just going to go from there. But he, he was the wanted a full guy. base. Yeah. Yeah. So um. The DPW uh, will prep the site by removing nine inches of grass in topsoil. That is what uh, Brian, Boo, and Sean Libby came up with. And that's what they submitted to Megan. And then we put installation <coughs> of exposed aggregate walkway. Provide labor materials to form. Provide install of wire mesh WWF slash rebar. Provide five inches of compact sub-base material, T-base or equivalent. Provide four inches of 400 PSI concrete. Labor to place, finish, exposed aggregate. Um, control joints as needed. All edges are backfilled, loamed, and seeded. That's They're doing that. They are. The sidewalk's not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we got rebar and stuff. Yeah. We'll, we'll get the grass spray to the spring now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so then we're going to do this. Do you still October 29th? Well, I think the next thing is to... Well, know, we're going to have one more meeting run, between there. Yeah, but could you run that by... Joe. Yeah, Joe, and or who's the select chair now? I can't keep up. It's is it still Mike? Julie. Julie. See what she says. <clears throat> I mean, if they're on board, then okay. I mean, it's an hour out of their day. Yeah. Takes a whole hour. 
on the chit chat. <laughs> yeah. Hardscape. Hardscape hey, benches. Yeah, so I haven't, I said I didn't work on that. So then we went skip to the walk around. Okay. Sign for Old Smith Cemetery. So he is in the, he is carving them right now. I think two of them are done. So he's been in his shop doing them. So he has the, I mean, he did, they just haven't been placed. And that was already cured. Who's so, doing that? Uh, Tommy Blue. So it was $4,865 for the three signs to be made out of slate and installed. Yeah. Then we got the cemetery revolving account. Okay. Oh, so you guys have these. So I uh, don't have the deposit that I'm getting later today. Uh, but we have $39,850.87 um, in the account. We are getting one lot return, which is on this one. Uh, they moved um, off Cape. So they no longer need the old cemetery lot, so we we buying it back from them for six fifty. But then we get to resell it. So um, I'll just pass that around when you guys get a chance. You can sign that. Where is that one? That's on Dune Avenue. Island Pond. Yeah. 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 So I'm sure that'll go like that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're in pretty good shape. I have a whole bunch of people that are interested now that we have. I have mapped out that. All those lots behind Tip O'Neill. Oh, yeah. So all of those lots and the grass is coming in nicely, don't you think, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we just have to get, um, so the person who's buying the 10 lots bought them there. Hmm. And then I have a couple other resident, you know, people who work in the town that are purchasing lots over there as well. So I think that'll be good. So it'll give us a little buffer with our funds at least. Now we have the Eagle Scout in the project. Do you want to do the Rockland Trust? Oh, do you want, I think we should do the Rockland Trust first and then the Eagle Scout project. So this is all you. That's a lot of Rockland Trust. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they made uh, some changes. I'm hoping that they um, can reconsider We'll give them to the end of the year to reconsider some of the things that they're invested in just because I don't understand why, but, but that's me. Um, but the uh, perpetual care dividend interest plan that we adopted over a year ago, but if you count back the last 12 months, it um, earned us 14, 7, 13. In the end of physical year, uh, we had earned twelve four sixty, so that's, that's all deposited into. It's kind of confusing the way they do it because it's the exact same fund, but there's two of them. We own it twice, and in the uh, income portfolio, that's <clears throat> that's the number there showing. What page are you on? Uh, nine or fourteen. So that's uh, 23,255 as of, well, that's July 31st. There's an August one somewhere. Oh, here oh. I, I got it right here. August was uh, 24,363 was the balance. 24,363? Yeah, I mean, it's, so just, I know we're live here, but other trusts in this town do not publish this stuff all over the place. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't see a reason why we have to publish it. But it's nice for you guys to know that, um, well, if so, if the walkway goes way over, depending on how much it right. comes yeah. in at, that we have some... But this is really home. cemetery care money, right? That's, so anything that goes into perpetual... Another tornado. No, <laughs> this, the, the, anything that goes into perpetual care is for use, maintenance, or upkeep of the cemetery so it would it would fall under that when we did the expansion project when we mm -hmm. made evergreen we used money out of the perpetual care interest account mm -hmm. so that's okay. what, what we did and when we i think um we used it on a couple of the 
uh, of the cemeteries as well. But mm -hmm. the actual roadway, when we put in the road and put in all the... Um, drainage. We, drainage and removed all the trees and that all came out of that. Okay. When what we, your thing is we could probably just do a, a small summary of what this is instead of yeah. publishing this whole... Yeah. Yeah. The library one, which is huge, they don't... You can't find that anywhere, yeah. except that maybe a, the end of the fiscal year when they're making grants. Anyway, um, when we first built this in September of 2023, it was worth 443580 And with the market being all-time highs, it is now worth four ninety nine four oh nine. So And we still haven't gotten all the money that they were supposed to move over. Oh, well, that's good. Thank so um, I did talk to her about that and asked her when they were going to be doing that because n now I'm starting to sell lots again. Um, so each time we sell a lot, a percentage of that goes into, um, and granted, it's not that much, um, but at the end of each year, it's it's a significant amount. Yeah. So. Now, that money should go into the other version. That money has to go into, because it's not interest earned. Correct. It has so to go into principal. The capital portfolio. Right. Fidel, uh, Fidelity Treasury. Yeah. Which currently has 2372. <clears throat> and maybe at a later meeting we can, we have them saving 10% in cash. Yeah. Which is what that is. But since we already have the other treasury portfolio that you can spend. Yeah. Do we really need to keep? No, because they can they can sell stuff and move stuff around pretty quick to get cash yeah. out of stuff. And right now, that's making good interest. I mean, yeah. money markets are just they're about to come down from five percent because the Fed's yeah cutting rates. So at some point, you're going to do better by taking the money out of the cash and putting it into your dividend stocks. So that's why I say we can we can this wait until maybe January and and say we we want to reallocate and drop that to five. And but at least it's making money as opposed to yeah, before. compared we to what it was. It's not, yeah. we weren't making any money. Yeah. No. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Thank God you're thank God you're on top of it. Oh, here's the August one right here. Yeah. I just hired somebody to do that. I can't make sense of that. <laughs> It's easy. <laughs> Nobody cares more about your money than you do. Um, so I met with Ty yeah. okay, that's Tyler, Tyler um, very nice uh, young man who is my newest Eagle Scout. There's actually three Eagle Scout guys that are going to be coming through. Oh, um, this one, Tyler, uh, we, I took him to Island Pond. I took him to like five locations, but he really wanted to duplicate the entranceway at Evergreen. And he has to be finished by October 31st, because that's when he, his birthday is. Mm. So uh, we went down there, we took, we looked at all of the different, uh, how it's arranged up there right now. And then we went to Low Tide Farms. And then Low Tide Farms gave us a quote for the trees, which is 1,633.54. We still have eight thousand dollars in our tree account, uh, which is um, an article that we got a few years back. So uh, we would not have to come up with any money out of the cemetery revolving; it would come out of the tree account. And I just wanted to know if you guys wanted to move forward with this project. So I can. What is he doing? He's going to redo the entrance. You know how when you go into Evergreen on the right hand side it has oh, all those two different ones: evergreens, trees, and then it has those shrubs in the front and the little. I think it's ornamental. Uh, it Route 39 entrance. Correct. So he's going to duplicate on the other side. that onto the other side. So they both match. Seven. So they okay. match. Good idea. Yeah. And then he, he wanted to plant mums that are perennial um, in front of the, just to make it look better for the fall. Yes. Okay. Where about on 137, though? It's the entrance, right as you come into Evergreen. No, on 39. On 39. On 39. Right. There's two That's rock walls. Behind the, behind the yeah. rock walls. Well, behind the, the rock walls. Where does he want to do it? There. Because one, right. one side's got one the side's done. Yes. One oh, side's done. There's okay. two gotcha. rock walls. Sorry, I thought you were saying he wanted yeah. to duplicate it onto 137. No, no, no. no. Like there's so many. Uh, yeah, no. Gotcha, thank you. Okay. 
<laughs> so I was with you at, at the start of that project. So <laughs> this would be another motion that somebody would have to make to do. Okay, I'll make a motion that we go ahead and for the Eagle Scout project at Evergreen Cemetery entrance. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, 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 aye. So, uh, Jim has a different Eagle Scout project he wants us to talk and look at. I do. Uh, well, yeah, you said the fence. Oh, oh, in East? Yeah. So we have two other guys that need to do Eagle Scout projects, and one of them we think we should guide Jared towards a certain project. The, we're talking about behind the church now, right? Yeah. This has been a topic that is, um, we visited within the past year. <laughs> it, your church, correct? Robin had the hired someone to you know uh, rehabilitate the stones. It was last year or the year before? Uh, I think it was two years ago. Right? Did a fantastic job, but the fence is a split rail fence, and it's been there since Moses was alive, and it's rotting, getting hit, getting snow plow damage when we get snow on Cape Cod, and it's been band-aided together. Now it's just showing its age, and it's actually exposing some of the stones that have already been rehabilitated. My concern is that coming up, those stones that were fixed once will be crumbled by bumpers and snow plows again. Something needs to be done, and we discussed doing something a little more robust than wood, but I know there's an expense to that. And we did talk about this. I know CPC was involved, and I guess that's not an option. Yeah, they said they weren't interested in redoing the fence, doing a grant. Right. Yeah. So oh, you're pipes. very familiar with yeah. it then. So yeah. you oh, you God, yeah. you can relate to. I go in there and I'm like, oh my God, those stones have nothing protecting them yeah. at all. So um, so there are two other um, Eagle Scouts that want to do projects this upcoming year. So um, I think that is would be a great project for them. They could do. We could buy the material and they could install the fence. Now I know the group of guys that. Helped do the two fences at the other two cemeteries that we had. They were amazing. So yeah. they already know how to install a fence because they've already done a couple of them. So I think it would be something that. Hmm. So another split rail, or are we doing grid? That. Split rail. We can't afford the grid. Yeah. Split rail around the whole thing, or no, just, just around the backside, just the in by in the, the park. parking lot. It's still massive. That's it's yeah. a big perimeter to yeah. that from where you come in. Do 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 do. You know right, that's yeah. massive. Yeah, up the side where you yeah. first drive in, yeah. around the parking area and right. that loop, and then back by the church yeah. entrance. The Basically, back entrance. the whole interior is how yeah. I see yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so that's a lot. I don't know to what magnitude you want to do the split rail, like the more robust stuff that Mount Pleasant had that's just now starting to show its age down by South Street, or is it all locust? I honestly don't know, but I. It would be nice to have it have a good long lifespan at that yeah. that location, yeah. and uh, I don't know what else Anything could be done. Anything would be an improvement. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We just it, and I think because it's like now falling down and. Oh yeah. Maybe we could ask you know the church if we could split it the materials or something with them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to see something more hardy than what's going to go in there so we don't have the same problems but i know there's a huge expense to that so i mean split rail doesn't stop mm. a snowplow yeah. you know <laughs> but i don't i don't know that the granite being hardy other than wood that's in an ideal situation but i mean that's a massive amount of money yeah, it is. but it would guard mm. those stones that are two, 250 years old too so that's something that you know someone smarter than me has to figure out where the direction they want to go curbing wouldn't help at all would it i don't know where that where the church property and the cemetery property overlap, and there may be some uh, resistance to putting curbing there. I I don't know. In front of those stones, right? Yeah. yeah. The one we're talking about, where the flags are, actually, the only yeah one or two that are in there. The biggest area yeah. of concern is basically on the right when you first come yeah. in the driveway, yeah. and then on the left where it goes around that little center island. Right. Right. There are stones that are actually up against the wood. You know, mm. that's how close they are to the edge of the asphalt, like yeah. a foot, foot and a half. Mm. So curbing, possibly. I don't know if that would just narrow the parking lot too much, too, and people would be bumping off of yeah. those. I think maybe the curbing, like like they do in a parking lot, you know, those simple things right in front yeah. of those. Yeah. It's a um, consideration. Three spots there. Maybe in the get a price for the um, wooden fence all the way around it. 
and then maybe approach the church and see if they'll if they're able to split it. You know, the thrift shop down there does an amazing business and they donate most of everything to the church. Yeah, they are always busy. Mm. Always busy. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's amazing. their customers who are driving to the fence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Uh, okay. So that that's that Eagle one. Scout. Yeah. I think it would be great for an equal project. For anybody in definitely. Yeah. yeah. So then, oh, rules, rules regulations. Rules. Yeah, we've had a lot of rules. What's the Velvet Grove? Oh, that's that's blue flags. So I think that we'll just let's just do this one first. Okay. Rose and I, are, so we have. Um, I've been meeting with people, you know, as we have burials. Well, we just had, um, you know, and I met with the Rose family because they had a, uh, their dad passed away. And explain to them that they can't have the fake flowers, no fence, no this, no. and and people actually have been pretty. Some of them have been pretty responsive and said, "Oh, no problem." By giving the rules, and they they um, abide by them. We still have some offenders uh, who, uh, no matter how many times you tell them, <laughs> they, just, they just don't want to. Uh, right. Have so, you sent any letters out to those offenders? Um, I have not. You guys were going to draft a letter, or somebody was going to draft a letter. I don't have time to draft a letter. I can mm. tell you that. So um, a letter needs to be drafted that says these are the rules. Right. Who cannot have this stuff? Mm. I mean, pretty much. I've handed them the rules. I've spoken to them face to face, and uh, I had to meet with. Uh, also, had to meet with. Um, one of the people who installed benches incorrectly on their lot. And that's still an issue. Yeah, and then they uh, had them on other people's lots. And then they, I told them we were gonna remove them. And then they moved them so they were somewhat on their lots. Yeah, they just twisted them. Yeah, so they at least weren't uh, blocking other people's lots, but they're Would too they big. To get a permit for those? They are supposed to have gotten a permit. So you can and they're too big. Push that. So they're like four feet benches, and they own two four feet lots. So the technically the bench can only be half the width of the lot, can't be spilling over their lot into the next lot. And uh, so it's it, so the next person, if they buy the lot next to them, they can't put their monument up because right. the bench is too close to. They'd be touching basically. Yeah, yeah. Their headstone would be touching the benches. So it's been. A little ongoing, so oh, the, we the, really the, need to have that addressed. I mean, I don't know. Is, can somebody type up a letter and then I can just fill in I'll give it whatever a whatever the different things are like the offender, uh, the offense. <laughs> so put that, yeah. We can like copy a ticket the list. Yeah. I mean, I would do. Uh, Opening paragraph saying it's been brought to our attention during yeah. our cemetery inspection, blah, blah, blah. And then the second little paragraph is the, your cemetery commissioner spent two years revising these rules to make them fair and equitable, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Unfortunately, during our recent inspection, we found that your a lot, that your lot in is in violation for one of the following reasons. And yeah. we could either Monument too list large. Them. No crushed stones, no fake flowers. Yeah, so we can just copy that from the yeah, rule, yeah. edit, copy, yeah. paste, with a little place for you to check. Yeah. But then you should also have a place to write a comment because there's yeah. going to be a gazillion variations on this theme. Right. Right. Yeah. You have until this date to correct them or... We the cemetery team will be removing these items. Yeah. And then they can be, mm -hmm. well, we've discussed this, you have gone. What do you think about, so let's say the bench. That's a big thing. So that'd be you and Pete trying to pick that thing up and get it well, out of there. Well, it's actually what are you not. Do with it? So I think. That's I, an interesting. I mean, so I said to them, I had, so they would not respond. I left five phone messages and we have an upcoming burial. Yeah, they're there. hoping you go away. So yeah. then I drove. 
to his office oh, wow. mm-hmm. and walked in and said to his secretary, I've left five messages. She goes, mm-hmm. are you the cemetery administrator? And I said, yes, I am. And I said, those benches need to be removed. We need to do a burial and those benches are on somebody else's lot. And I gave her the diagram, showed her how they were. I said, this is your choices. You can, I said, if you do not remove these benches off these people's lots, we will bring a pallet down. We will put the benches on a pallet and we'll have to put them behind the DPW board. So then it wasn't an hour and a half later that I had to go back up to the cemetery to meet with somebody. And the benches were already moved off the lot in like, in, at least in line. Which was better, but wasn't what I was. Still not in compliance. Yeah, that, that was. The, I had not. I had mm-hmm. circled. I gave her the rules and regulations that said needed a permit, needed this, needed mm-hmm. that. He just said, "Well, I'm just going to straighten them out." But yeah. I'm going to have to talk to him. All that stuff. So I'm going to have to talk to him again. I mean, yeah, I know I kind of get the hard ass reputation around yeah. here, but personally, the more effort it takes those two, yeah. the, there's a price. Yeah. Where do you put them? I, I don't know. You can put them at the DPW, well, but if then... If you've got to go over there and put them on a pallet and yeah. lug them away, no, that's that's a fine. Right. That Somebody's going to pay for that. Right. I just... Yeah. I mean, this isn't hard. Yes, you bought your cemetery lot, and yes, you got the we're rules. all sorry that right. your family is there, but <laughs> in this case, your bench is banging in, is going to bang into the next person's thing. Right. No, done. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, did you do a permit to do this? Oh, sorry. Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> it's gone. And there's, what do you got? And, it's, bucks? and, the, and the, to, the bench itself oh, is just placed on top of the, it's not. So it's not. So it's not installed it's correctly. Not, yeah. I mean, it could tip over. So it's not like it's a bench that is affixed to the base, no which is then, there's true. a foundation. Mm. It has no foundation. The, the bench is just placed on top of it. Which can like tip one. or, you know what I mean? Something could happen so and someone we, could get if hurt. if we can compose a letter, do we need um, legal counsel to look at it? I mean, I can ask. To make sure we're not yeah. violating some other... Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> something else. Some what? That's our I rules. Mean, we're, they are the rules. We're yeah. responsible. And, for example, a dog walker, we're cleared to go, hey, HPD, could you send a cruiser over here? We got... Right. Yeah. We got kids partying. We've got... Dogs. Joe walking his two dogs and and we want them cited because he's been told before it's a fifty dollar fine. So anyway, getting back to storing stuff, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No. So, so the palette is unique, but yeah, let's say it's okay. It's enough. We need all these flowers gone and yeah. their little memorial and the alabaster this and the the globe ball thing. Yeah. Gone. Do you guys have a place for that where we can... We've been, I mean, over the years, we just put them behind the maintenance building in Mount Pleasant. But then you also are encouraging people, if they know where they are, to come rummaging around yeah. town property. You don't really want that. You'd rather have them, okay, you can pick up your items here, make an appointment or whatever. We're open from here to here. You don't want to just stuff them behind a building and then right. random people driving yeah, in and out. I didn't know over at DPW headquarters. No, there's no lost and found. Yeah. There's no, there's yeah. no. Oh, well, see, area. I wouldn't know. That's giving them too much credit to do that. You know what I mean? They've been told to remove right. them, so it's, it's not lost. We give them. I think we discussed this that yeah. we remove them. They they're in a box. They're in a plastic bin. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, I'll go down to well, it used to be Kmart. Whatever. Buy a pla- five plastic bins. I can't imagine us doing more than that. And they get thirty days to mm-hmm. stop by the office, and it's. Yeah, it's around this building. Yeah. But maybe we don't want them walking around back there without being supervised. Well, a brief interesting example of that. This wasn't, I mean, it kind of was in violation at the time of a burial. I guess the person who deceased was involved in uh, fishing or buoys or whatever. So their family set up five foot tall yeah. buoys. I'm sure you know where I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I was present at the burial. I told the funeral director, I'm like, that's, Robin's not going to be down with this. Mm-hmm. But I said, I'll turn the other cheek for like a week just in celebration yeah. of their life. And he said, I'll tell the family to remove them. The family didn't remove them. So I had Pete remove them and they're mm-hmm. stacked behind one of the town buildings. But the family never came back. So now yeah. we got to throw them away. And that burial was probably June or July. Mm-hmm. So, but then what if the family comes back and says, where are those buoys? Yeah. I mean, is that spelled out? out? Well, and, and this I led to, in that discussion, was you having a database to contact people. Right. 
because so and so is buried by the couple from Wyoming. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't know how to get a hold of them out in Wyoming, and and they're. They... Well, sometimes the phone number's on the form, if they put it on there. Okay. But I could, I could, I can look that one up, Jim. It's just an example, you know. Right. I mean, this goes on constantly. Yeah. You know? Is this in the rules? What? Fishing buoys? No, <laughs> but I mean, there is. I think, <laughs> I think there no, is we'll something. No, will be removed. It says will be removed. Yeah, I think, I think Anything removed. that's unsightly will be removed. Oh, this is the national. Unsightly um, or not in compliance with the rules. I'm wondering, do, so if we amend the rules, with a just, paragraph that says what's going to happen, or do we have that in there? I think it just says removal. I it says removed. Yeah, yeah, no. I find it. I don't think it has to be in the rules. The plantings on the back most side. People would funeral flowers. Removed. I think it's at the end. Plant flowers. Aid the town of Harwich is not liable for items left on a grave. So there you go. Great uniform. The last. I thought it was at the end. Any items we find on Sally will be removed. It's mostly yeah. not. It's not unsightly. It's in non-compliance. Most, of it, was, most yeah. of it was the hazard aspect for you guys. I don't. Um, yeah, I don't know if there needs to be something in there. Do we have to hold on to it, or can we dispose of it? No, that was know? that was a be nice clause that we were discussing. Just yeah. to like, yeah. see that maybe there. they're off cave. Right. You can't have them. We told you it's been thirty days. Yeah. You didn't get rid of them. Right. We're going to take them off. No objects include really limit you to statues, balloons, sports equipment, artificial or some flowers, stuffed animals, wind chimes, solar lanterns, or plants. Hanging plants are permitted. We're not liable for any of the items left in the grave. We need to be damaged, lost, blah, blah, blah. For the safety of co-workers, crushed stone, metal stand, rocks, hooks, glass, ceramic fences, borders, curvy, mylar balloons, wind chimes, or alcoholic beverages. No signs, lettered wood boards, statues of animals, toys or paraphernalia are permitted. You need a, you need a cemetery cop is what you need. There's, I mean... There are examples all over the, yeah. you know, recent law enforcement burial. There are things on that particular grave that oh, yeah. shouldn't be there. So then the neighbor says, why can he have his stuff right. there? And my artificial flowers have it's to go bye-bye. Standard, it's standardization. So, but yeah. it's just got to be... Then you take those items, then I don't want to be arrested <laughs> for removing law enforcement. She's, she's, down to she's redoing that center. lot this week. She's taking out the stone and putting in a new headstone. A rock. Somebody this is the culvert. It says so Eldridge. She's yeah. removing that one and putting it. Who's on the road downhill? That, that's that who I'm talking about, though. Yeah, there's like a golf club there and a sweatshirt and stuff yeah. like that. It's like, it's, uh, it's gotta go. I can speak to him. <laughs> I don't want to make enemies, but no, it's, no. it's hard to. Is that a whale barrel? This person Walk knows. Exactly. A whale barrel? Yeah, that was for a burial. Yeah. When they were digging. Yeah. We had a burial day yesterday. Oh, and they were cleaning it up. Yeah. Uh, landscape. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't yesterday. <clears throat> this was. I can let Sean that know that I'm not the family, Sean. Yeah. 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 Know so, that they need to go. So you're yeah. gonna do this letter? Pardon me. You're gonna do the letter. I'll, I'll give her a shot and send it to you guys. Send, send it to us, then we can thing. rehash it. And then what do we get? Are we meeting? October, like the early, it's like a couple weeks. When are we meeting? We normally meet the first week, yeah, but, but we can we it. do the second week? Because the first week would be too close for me. I got to get all these CPC things in. <laughs> I got to concentrate yeah, on that next week. I can make it the third, but probably not the tenth. Yeah, I think we were going to do the tenth because we're just meeting mm -hmm. now. Yeah, I can't. So the third, I have to have all these things in. Are you free on the 10th? That's a Tuesday. Do we meet on Thursdays? Tuesday. I'm working on Thursday the 10th. Oh, I'm in September. I know. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> I'm trying, but it's not that easy sometimes. <laughs> I can join you guys remote, correct? Yeah, you can. Yeah. If I can't make it. Yeah. Well, well I was just saying that if, four if, hour drive, but. if you do a rough of a letter and send it to us, yeah. even though we're not really collaborating, yeah. right, right. we're just kind of seeing if we want to add something, and then we right. vote on it yeah. the 10th. 
you know and that way you've seen it and go and i need a little more muscle here or something ok right and then we implement it the town so then the other is c p c article updates um, pretty much gave it to you before they emailed me this again and asked me again about the East Howard gravestone thing, which we already rescinded six months ago. So I have to call her back on that one. And I don't know why she said this. Can you please provide us a rental approved project? I think that was for somebody else. So lost where are you? If this is from Jan Moore, yeah. and then the second page of it had an update from me. Where did Jan Moore go? It was just a little. It's on the back of this. Yeah, went too far. That's that's too far. It's this one right here. Is that one? Yeah. So if you look at Two this, she has um, the three articles that. Even though we closed out the East Howard Union one and we had drafted a letter because we had extra money we gave back, uh, she still has that on there, so I got to call her about that. And then, so we have the Veterans Memorials, Evergreen. Circle, that one should be done too. The only one that should be open is this one and this one. So I got to call her on these two first two the 2001 Veterans Memorial Circle. Thing is done. That was for the electricity and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, and that's done. And then the uh, article number 31 of 2002 was the East Tower Union gravestone. That one is done, and we turned back in. I think it was like forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And then we have the Revolutionary War project and the South Howard gravestone project. But I don't understand what she means by rental improvement project. Uh, it's number 35. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. So I, I will call her and touch well, bases. What was, do you have a copy of 35? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do. This is it. So this is the project. Um. And it just talks about the gravestones. I've never had a rental. Well, but, but what is I, number 35? Number 35 is the um, South Howitch gravestone. To, that's, do, to that's do what? To repair in the, the gravestones. So which we it's already been approved. Well, so, maybe she just means maybe it's supposed to be on the repair okay. approved project. Okay, all right. So uh, <laughs> what, I, what I'm doing now is I went back out to the cemetery, and some of the stones that were, you know, this is... Leaning stones, these are broken stones. Mm, wow. Well, now there's stones that have fallen over, so now they've changed from being on this one to being on this one. <laughs> so I just have to update all of these. I'm going back out there one more time with my new map to make sure all the ones that are on the ground are listed on the right map because they need new foundations and everything. They're not, you know what I mean? Mm. And they could be cracked now, so. Um, I'm working on that. So I have to have that finished by tomorrow. It's my today project. Now and now design. we have all the blue flash design stuff. All right, so. Um, I put in your packet a couple different things. Yeah, it's a separate packet. Just one packet. Yeah, so there's um, one thing that you start is from Velvet Grove. So I don't know if they got bought out by somebody because I don't know who Velvet Grove is. Um, so I just kept sending them information and she sent me back. If you see on the top of the one that, like, do you have one like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, she had sent me, hi Robin, that was on April 19th, as you can see from my message above. The crew was there on April 23rd. So then I sent her back a message. They were not there, and I will contact the town attorney to deal with, and you'll have to contact the town attorney. Uh, I am not paying for the April visit. They were not there. 
on april twenty third i was photographing trees in the cemetery i did not see them and i think we had a funeral that day too if you uh, want to send a bill for the others for the other visits in twenty twenty three i can pay them and i did talk to the town accountant and because the cemetery revolving is not um, a budgeted item, we can pay an older bill out of that account without having to go to town meeting. So then I pulled up these other um, packets for you. And we had reached, we had met with this lady, Lindsay, me and Jim at the cemetery, on um, April 8th. We had gone out there initially for her to walk the area to find out uh, all of that information. Right. And then um, sh she came back and met us again um, a couple times after that, tw twice after that. I, I think I was only part of one of them, okay. if my memory serves me right. correctly. So uh, there was no work done because we were showing her the work that needed to be done. And... Uh, we were showing her where all the poison ivy was, where all the Japanese knotweed was, and all of that stuff. We rescinded it on May 17th. I, you know, I think I should just bring all this stuff to the town attorney and that's call it a day. Cause... There was never any evidence of blue flax being present. There was never any sighting of them working there. They never put any of the yellow pesticide or alerts that it, an area had been sprayed ever. You know, so that's all I can tell you. I'm, I'm not an attorney, and yeah. I don't play one on TV, but yeah. if I was a town attorney, I yeah. would get that in writing. Yeah. I would get that in writing. I would get this yeah. added to the package and go, sorry, right. prove it. Yeah. And So I asked her, I said, do you have any photographic evidence that you guys took that you were there or you did work? or yeah. Is there something that you have that you can give me so that I can know you were there? And then... Then I started going through my phone, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> on April 23rd, I was doing inventory of the trees in the cemetery, and I was going to all different sections and taking pictures of the trees, which I have on my phone, which are time-stamped with the date is and you, time. Is that in this package? No, but... I would, I would... I know you got a lot of input. Yeah. But I would, before there's a problem right. with Apple, oh, yeah. I would... Put those Tom into a little them. document yeah. and say this is, you know, a little, this is a diary of, so you can document that I was here on this and here was that and here's a photo I took that day I was there. Yeah. And then make a footnote that Jim can also provide a statement if necessary. And just, yeah, let, this is something I would back off and let the... Let the attorney deal with it. I mean, and we were getting so frustrated in April that they wouldn't come out. Right. That in May is when we approached at the beginning of the first week of May at our meeting. And so I said, they still haven't come out. And you guys voted to rescind the letter. And if the stuff is didn't die off. Yeah. No. Then no, you're no. charging us for yeah. fraudulently. Because I was heckling her saying, when is this going to get done? This yeah. is getting yeah. tall. What's going on? There was even one day, actually, we spoke on the phone. And you were told by someone in the office they were in, they were going back and forth between Island Pond and Mount Pleasant. So I, Pete was in Mount Pleasant working. I went to Island Pond. Yeah, and they didn't you see were him. Neither. You were neither. I mean, yeah. I, so I, I put Roundup on something, yeah. and like the next day, everything was yellow. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, there was no the commercial application would have you you would have seen it right away. Right. Yeah. When we've had other areas sprayed, when Warren's been kind enough to come out and spray, he puts a yellow flag like what's supposed well, to be to. done that's yeah. i believe it's law oh, there was nothing it. there there was yeah, never a yellow same. flag I in my cemetery just, this is yeah this is given to the town attorney and say we are being we believe fraudulently billed and we can give you any information you want but we would like you to take this now just right because we don't need to deal with it see what he says okay he says. so you we, haven't we, talked to them yet right no. Okay. Um, so we only have. I'd let the attorneys do the doc. Yeah, this is. So we only have two bills. They all, in total, it's thirty dollars and forty-two cents. Um, so we have our Eversource bill, which is twenty dollars and forty-two cents, and we have a death certificate. Uh, I was surveying a lot uh, for the people next door, 
and I came across this lot, and there is a World War II veteran buried on it, and he has no marker. So, um, Shawnee, I, so me and Shawnee, I had to get, so I went to call the town clerk. I said he died in our town. I need a copy of the death certificate so I can submit it to the VA so that they can get this guy a military marker because he has no marker. Right. And um, so they said that would that was fine, but uh, they charged us ten dollars so that we have a ten dollar charge for that. I got a quick question. Yeah. And you'll put him, you'll put him on the veterans list. Family. I tried to reach out and try to find family, but I couldn't find okay. anyone. It. it I only, mean, only he, because my wife's uncle. Yeah. Wanted no. I mean, he was explicit in oh. no marker. Anyway. So he died in 1995. I tried to figure out what happened to his wife. Uh, it looks like his kids were lived in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I tried to look Rhode Island, and then somebody else was in New Jersey. I tried New Jersey, and I couldn't find him. But and the wife's not buried here. No. Oh, that's too bad. I know. Can I ask what the name is? Is there it is. B L E Z A R D. Bizarre. And he died. His name was John G. Bizarre. He died February 24th, 1995. And that's it. Hmm. He was cremated, and his ashes were put in the lot. And I have all the information that he was buried. Yeah. And that was that. But. He was a World War II veteran, so I want him to have his mm -hmm. flag and flag holder and all that stuff. Does Shawnee know what he did? Yeah, she has. She, she's his history? Yeah, she's pulling all of the... So there was some history that I found already, but she pulled all the rest of the history, uh, which she's going to need. So she might put whatever onto the where monument. Is, where is he buried? He is buried in Island Point. You know where the um, Don Redwood tree is? On the top, kind of, you know, where the ginkgo tree is? We have the native garden. Okay. It's right near there. Okay, and then we have lots of deeds. I did this. And we have one deed this. that moved from one spot to three spots over because you didn't want to be in front of the benches. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, and then um, we've been selling a lot of lots. We sold a bunch in Mount Pleasant. Uh, Island Pond and Evergreen. Anything we can do for UNP? Yeah, balls. Oh money. yeah, so we we, we did. <laughs> yeah, balls money. No we, we, yeah, The daughter just got a new contract in Chatham. It's like not enough. <laughs> <laughs> we just. Um, we reached out to the tree guy. We haven't heard from him, so uh, trying to get him back on the schedule because there was a lot of trees um, that need to come down. No, I mean, like, you know, we, we got the mower last year. Yeah, it's about time for another one. Really? No, one or, one or two are coming up. Okay, so Believe it or not. You know. make it a whole house. So why don't we get that? Because I didn't have that. Because they had wanted me to mail it. Like the yeah. next meeting or November so meeting. Yeah, or at least, at least on, in your in your mind, if nothing okay. else. To That's know just that, I mean, I'm we're winding down them. this. I'm crossing. Mostly. In my mind, the way it works is, <laughs> it's a need. It's a validated need, and oh look, there's money available. But, okay, stuff happens. Okay. You know, we can we can revisit that in the future. I mean, if you said you wanted uh, the new King Cab. Is that not? F can I say it? <laughs> you can say it with a sleep, it. sleeper in the back yeah. and a grill. Yep. And I go, yeah, yeah, we can use a pontoon boat. You know? Yeah, <laughs> we got to, We got to clean the pond. <laughs> got to. Pond. That pond. <laughs> and kayak's not cutting it anymore. <laughs> no, that's, Are we ever uh, going to get the fountain back there? What's well, still so thick in there? I don't know how we're going to. I well, mean, I'm hoping. It, well, now that we finally got some rain. So it was getting really low, but it's not even back up. We really need more rain. We're getting some today, though. Yeah, a little bit tonight. So the five inches we just had wasn't enough rain. Not just rain for my daughter's wedding. This is, I know. This oh, is oh, I was going to ask. It sort of just disappears quick. Yeah. You brutal. had the parquet floor, right? Oh my God, it was brutal. Was it? The mud <laughs> was coming up to everywhere. Oh gosh. Yeah. It was something. 
The government to pass the shoes. <laughs> and the Zara's wedding was Sunday, but I think they were okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know it's a big wedding with you. Um, so we're doing the next meeting on the 10th, right? The 10th. So and we're not visiting any cemeteries, right? So then, yeah. No. No, we should probably schedule something maybe next time around look at this so we can see what's happening. I mean, I drive to Ray Island Pond all the time. Yeah. Did Looked you, pretty good. Do we uh, follow up on the sign company? We did get something back from the sign company, and they, uh, about the cleaning stuff, about cleaning the signs, is that what you're talking about? Well, yeah, the replacing the... Brackets and stuff. Because um, North Howard looks a little rusty. And yeah. I can see it from the street, and my eyes aren't that good, so. Yeah, we're supposed to be on the agenda to follow up on that and ask them why, you know, did they tell us that to begin with, that they needed to be maintained and all that stuff. So it's on their website, and... To be perfectly honest with you, Cindy, it was so long ago, I don't know if they did or they did not. Okay. I thought so that I had did, requested you to contact I them. Did, I did contact them about it. And they, con they of what they sent me back was their website, which has been up there forever, and it says on their website exactly what you have to do to clean, to yeah. maintain their signs. But did when we ordered them, was there anything said then? I mean, I think I, it should have been. I, I, we ordered them... I can't even remember, like 15 years ago, so I don't remember. Mm. That's when the first signs went in. Yeah. But I will talk to her about brackets. Now, they don't do the brackets. They right. had a subcontractor that did them before. But so they you should me? be responsible for them. They went on their sign. Okay. I don't think we should have had to pay for them. Do you? Mm, not if it's part of their. Gig. They put them on it. We paid them for it, not the subcontractor. No, we, we did not pay them for it. We paid the we paid the other person. They so, just got them from for us. Really? We paid them directly. We Jeez. had two separate bills. Well, we paid them for the them. sign <laughs> and somebody for the installation and putting the brackets on it. So we didn't pay we didn't pay them for the installation of the brackets. Well, that saves their butt. And the brackets. Yeah, but they installed the brackets. The brackets said, they? Rest or I would have to look at them, but I know the guy now lives in Maine and uh, is no longer working, so I don't know how we're. I mean, I can check into it. We're going it. to Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there was that new guy who did fix the last sign that used pretty nice stuff. So, do we want to just reach out to him and ask him what it would cost to? Which one? I think that was 137 yeah. Evergreen. Yeah. Well, after it got cleaned, he put in new, all new hardware on it. Yeah. Well, if we're going to do that, then I say we go to every single sign, take pictures, and go, this one's good, this one's yeah. good. Maybe and next month we can do a, a road trip. We'll go get coffee and we'll sandwiches. We'll get coffee, and... donuts, and <laughs> okay. on the I'll make jump that. in your truck and off you <laughs> go. Maybe I'll make that trip. <laughs> Jump in my truck. Four, four to five hours for a cup of coffee and visit with you guys. <laughs> yeah, Do you, you live there now, working? Cindy? Do you no, live? but I'd like to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you pictures. I saw we'll some pictures. Why. I saw some pictures. It looks beautiful. Okay. All right. Do I have adjourn? a motion to adjourn the meeting? So move. Yes. At what time? At uh, 10 16. 10 16. 10 16.